everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming the Easy No Heat Blowout on Natural Hair by The Chic Natural on YouTube. So I'm going to be using my Vitamin E Shampoo and Conditioner from Organics, uh, my wide tooth comb to detangle, uh, some scrunchies to section off my hair. I'm going to be doing 8 sections so I'm using 8 scrunchies um, for my hair and 2 butterfly clips to help keep my hair separated. So I'm starting off by just wetting my hair in the shower. Guys, when I tell you getting the angle for this video was so difficult, oh, it's like when you go legit, like everything has to be perfect. So it was really hard filming in the washroom. But I'm just wetting my hair in the shower and then I'm gonna go in with my shampoo. So I've been using this shampoo and conditioner for, I wanna say a few months. And to be honest, I like it. It keeps my hair soft, it keeps it moisturized, it doesn't feel stripped in any way, which I was really worried about. Um, in previous videos and on another channel, I was speaking about using the coconut, the curly coconut one, and it made my hair feel super dry. So I'm just happy that I found a shampoo and conditioner by this line that keeps my hair really soft. Um, soon I'll be making a video about me transitioning into more natural products. So when this when this is done, I'm gonna be using some natural hair products by Lulu Solistics and when I do, I'll be sure to film a video on that. But for now, this shampoo and conditioner works really well on natural hair. So I'm just gonna be rinsing out the shampoo. I didn't film it, but I did shampoo twice because I haven't washed my hair in like a month. It sounds gross, but I haven't washed my hair in like a month. So I shampooed and, um, yeah, shampooed twice. I didn't condition twice, I just shampooed twice you guys see my hair like oh it's flourishing look at that like I've been struggling to grow my hair back for so long and since I've been using these gross drops by Lulu Solistics my hair has been growing a lot especially from the blonde and now it's transitioning into black seeing that I just trimmed it like uh, yesterday um, my hair has been growing really well and it's been really soft so I'm really happy about it so I am going to be conditioning my hair before I put it in the sections so I'm just rubbing some conditioner in right now she did do the conditioner as she was putting her hair in sections I believe I'm not sure if she did put it in before as well but I need all the moisture I can get so I'm definitely just going to be putting the conditioner all over my hair first, then sectioning sectioning them off. I have trouble saying that word all the time. Then I'm going to be sectioning them off and then adding more conditioner. So basically, I'm just going to explain to you how I do it. I just use my fingers to part um, the section. I didn't use my comb at this part yet. Um, you can add more conditioner if you'd like. And then you're gonna detangle with a paddle brush is what she used, but I don't know where mine is. So I'm just gonna use my wide tooth comb and you're just gonna detangle from the ends of your hair all the way to the root, obviously to lessen damage. You don't have to use a paddle brush. You can use a wide tooth comb, you can use a regular comb. You can use your fingers, but nothing that is going to rip your hair out. So no fine tooth combs, no combs where the, the teeth of the comb are like really close together, but it's not a fine tooth comb, like none of that. You want to use something that's going to go through your hair evenly without ripping it out. and you want it to be as close to the root of your head as possible because that's where most of the stretch is going to come from and help it to uh, dry evenly at the roots of your hair so getting the scrunchies close to the root of your hair is yeah so getting close to the root of your head as possible is key to getting the root stretched and keeping it evenly dry and you're basically just doing the same method all around your hair 
So as I said, I'm doing eight sections, so four on one side and four on the other. like after all scrunchies are in it looks so good it's detangled it's conditioned um, all my hair is sectioned it just looks so pretty I haven't seen my hair like this in a while it just looks really pretty so after that I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse out the conditioner and then we'll go from there so this is what it looks this is how I look fresh out the shower this is what it looks like fresh out of the shower. Um, I'm gonna clean the washroom because you know when you live with Caribbean parents how that goes, leaving hair everywhere. So I'm just gonna clean the washroom um, and then head back to my room and show you guys what I do next. Okay, I'm back. You can see my wig in the background. I don't know why, but filming feels like so much harder when you go legit. I think I might end up changing um, my lights. I don't have a ring light or anything specific I used to film, but I think I'm gonna switch them out to white lights. I have a mix of a yellow and a white light right now, and I don't know, that's the white light. This is the yellow and the white, so I think they're okay together. Plus it's raining and gloomy and whatever, so the lighting is hard to work with right now. But yeah, like when you go legit, like it's so hard to do this stuff. Anyways, so I'm out the shower. I did my hair in eight sections, so four on each side. Um, Chic Natural, she was saying that when you have more sections, um, it's the more your hair will be stretched. I've done one of her stretching methods before and it did not work for me. So I just thought I'd experiment and try with this one. And I don't know, I get a lot of questions, not on YouTube, well yeah, sometimes YouTube and um, in person about what my hair texture is. I'm not 100% sure. I'm like, from based on what I see in different sections of my hair, like the front, and this is not heat damage, it's like my actual hair texture. So like the front and the back, I want to say I'm like a 3C, 4A, 4B. I don't know if I'm as far as a 4B, but I don't know. But I want to say like I'm a 3C, 4A, 4B kind of thing. So for this, I don't have um, a Deadman brush. I can't find mine or a paddle brush. I don't know where my paddle brush is. So I'm just going to use my wide tooth comb. And she used the hair oil paired with the shampoo and conditioner line that she's using but I'm gonna use um, Talia Wahid products um, so one is the healing oil the African healing oil and this is like all-purpose you can use this for your hair for your body for pretty much everything and then I'm gonna use the Talia Wahid it's called the great detangler leave-in and co-wash I swear by this product I bought the kids version for my brother and it works so well. My brother has more of like a 3B texture, um, but I swear, and he's throwing toys. That's why I need to move out. Um, but I swear by this product. It's good for a detangler. It doubles as a co-wash and also a leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna just get started with the oil first. I should've used the detangler first, but I don't think it really matters. So I'm using a little bit of oil and then the detangler I'm only going to put it towards the end of my hair because that's where I have problems um, with more of the knotting is or knotting is more at the ends of my hair and then I'm just going to comb through again and I've had one girl try and come for me telling me how I need to comb my hair out when it's only wet and I, and I shouldn't use a wide tooth comb and I shouldn't finger detangle. Um, it was like in a message. And I'm like, as a disclaimer, this is what works for me, not the whole 
washing and stretching method because it's my first time doing it but with combing my hair and moisturizing this is what works for me and not every time you're gonna watch a video maybe I should close my window it's not every time you're gonna watch a YouTube video and everybody's gonna do what you're doing what may be damaging to you may work for me okay just thought I'd get that out there um, but yeah I'm gonna just shut up now I'm gonna speed this part of the video up and then talk to you guys when I'm done. I'm trying to finish listening to that Tiana Taylor album. If you haven't listened to it, please. I've listened to the first four songs. There's eight songs on the album, and so far I love all of them. So I'm gonna continue listening to that right now. And um, I'll see you guys soon. So I'm literally just going to take uh, some more oil and just rub it down the braids. So this is my hair after. My hair takes a really long time to dry and usually when I do like the band method on my hair, I cover it and tie it up at night. But she said that her hair takes long to dry as well, so she just leaves it out for the entire day. Um, I'm going to use my silk scarf that I use for my head and wrap it around my pillow because I don't have a silk pillowcase. And that's how I'm going to sleep tonight. And then once it's fully dry, I will show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully I can film it, me taking it down tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow when this is all dry. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hi everyone. So it's the next day. It's the next day. And um, this is what the braids are looking like. They look like this. So I'm gonna start with the first braid at the back. The braids are completely dry. I'm really nervous about this because I don't know how well this is going to work for my hair. So, took the scrunchie out. Roots feel really dry. The braid feels dry and moisturized. This morning when I woke up, it didn't feel like as moisturized as I wanted it to. I didn't feel as moisturized as I wanted it to be when I woke up this morning. But um, we'll see what it looks like when I take it out. So she took some oil, so I'm going to use the same Talia Waheed healing oil. She took the oil, she said it eliminates first. So that's what I'm going to do as well. And then I'm going to start taking down the braid. So here still feels a little damp. I knew that would have been a, would be a problem for me. <sighs> Anyways, um, and then I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and comb through the section. So this is what mine looks like. Hers looked more of a blowout. Look more like a blowout. I'm gonna zoom out. Hers looked more like a blowout. Mine just looks hella disappointing. It's it's soft. Don't get me wrong, it's soft. It's dry. The comb runs through it. But for me, like when I blow dry my hair, it doesn't it doesn't look like this. But it's dry, it's fine, it's okay. I'm gonna just move on to the next sections of my hair. So I'm gonna just twist it up so it doesn't get in the way. 
and then I'll show you guys at the end of what at the end when I finish taking everything out what my hair looks like okay so I've taken out all the braids so I'm gonna pull this side of my hair out and show you guys what it looks like not 100% dry This is my hair on one side. It's not 100% dry, not as stretched as I would like, so maybe next time I'll do more sections. My hair is really soft. Um, my ends still suffer a little bit, but it's not horrible. I would definitely do this method again. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, it did work. I'm literally just gonna corner it right now, but. I would leave my hair in for a few more days to see if it will stretch a lot more than this because for me this is really shrunken. My hair is not usually this shrunken when I blow dry it. So it's usually a little bit elongated, probably like about the, by that much. So I would, you see like stretch it, um, sorry, I would have it in for a few more days. And I'd probably use elastics for the end or band all of the braids to see if that will stretch it a lot more. But would I do this again? Yes. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I know it hurts sometimes, but you'll get over it. You'll find another life to live.